Sean, Tour de France uh, starts in Liège shortly. Who do you see as your tips for the overall? Well, I think uh, Wiggins, Evans are the two guys who are the big favourites. And you know, um, after that, and there's a number of guys like Van den Broek. He's you know he's preparing big time for the Tour of France this year. And then there's a number of other riders, the four or five others who could. Uh, you know, who could cause a problem, but for me, the two big ones are Evans Schleck at the moment, or Evans uh, Wiggins at the moment. Wiggins has won Paris Nice Tour Romandie, Dauphiné, a uh, criterium de Dauphiné, and you think it's difficult to do all those? It's been quite a while since the, the Dauphiné Tour double has been done. Well, it's, uh, it depends on how good Wiggins was at the Dauphiné. Was he at 100% or was he at 95%? That is the question. Uh, I think uh, it is possible to do it, but when you look back at the winners of the Dauphiné in the past 15 years, a lot of them won the Dauphiné, had trouble in the Tour of France as you went further into the race and possibly into the third week. So that's a little bit of a question mark over Wiggins, but I think with the uh, Tour this year, the uh, number of kilometres time trialling, the difficulty of the race, if he can hold his shape like the Dauphiné, he's very much in there as one of the big the big two favourites. Speaking of doubles, Ryder Hegedal is going to try and do the Giro Tour double. Do you see that as being possible? Well, it's, it's, it is possible. Um, you know, it's been done in the past and Hegedal, again, you know, he's going to go to the Tour maybe, you know, not under a lot of pressure because he's won the Giro and uh, anything after that in the Tour will be a bonus. And the way he was riding in the Tour of Italy, uh, I think it will give him a huge confidence boost. Uh, but yeah, will he be able to repeat, you know, something like he did in the Giro? It is, it's difficult. Uh, you know, this, this year they talked about the Giro not being so difficult, but still, it was, you know, uh, a long, difficult race. And when you look back at the, you know, the Giro in the last number of years, again, all the riders who do well in Giro suffer in the Tour of France. This year we'll see Dan Martin and Nicholas Roach ride the Tour de France. It's been two decades since there was two Irish in the race, uh, yourself and Stephen Roach. So what do you expect from Dan? Well, it should be interesting to see for Dan because, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's something new for him. It's new for us all. And how will he, come, how will he uh, perform? First of all, the first week, 10 days of racing will be really important. If we get bad weather conditions in Belgium, northern France, uh, wind and rain, well then the racing will be so aggressive and it's something that Dan doesn't like a lot when it's that very aggressive windy racing so that could be a problem for him, he could you know, suffer a lot there getting through but if the race is good conditions and he gets through that first week well then uh, you know, in the mountains he should be able to do some very good performances. Nicholas Roach was second, he was 10th last week in the Tour de Suisse, so you think this puts him in, in a good place for the Tour de France? Well, I think the Tour de Suisse performance shows that he's going in the right direction. Form is good, finishing 10th in the Tour of Switzerland. Um, looking good for the Tour, and yeah, we're all looking forward to, uh, to Nicholas having a good Tour. I think he, uh, he f we feel that he's due one, he also feels it, um, and uh, hopefully you know, he will have a real good one this year.